Hello everyone. Happy Halloween. What are you gonna be? I'm a unicorn. The same thing I was three years ago. Was this three years ago, this costume? Ben, what is this costume? That's not a costume. I'm a dancing person. You look like a customer in uh, the closing shift. <laughs> Could I get an iced cappuccino mocha latte? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most scarifying costume. Wow. Generic white man customer. Scariest costume ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome on in everyone. Welcome. Happy early Halloween. It's Saturday, October 29th, so it's Halloween weekend, which means uh, kids these days are having parties all weekend. I used to love that when Halloween was like a bonus. <laughs> you liked Halloween? Are you okay, honey? <laughs> He's still scared from playing Phasmophobia. I think that's what it is. Last night, were you guys there? Um, I still have. I, I was very. I have scared. night terrors. <laughs> okay, is our audio okay? Just quick checks. I don't see anyone reporting negative audio energy. But uh, relative to music, we sound good. Or should I turn down the music? I forgot the EMF. Beep 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 beep. beep. <laughs> Hannah was there. Jennifer was there. Thank you, Ro. Audio, audio, okay. audio. Audio jungle. <laughs> Audio jungle. What are we doing today, Christine? Okay, okay, hold on. Let me, I gotta turn. Hold on. Menchi was sitting in her bed in a Sailor Moon costume for like 20 minutes before I started stream, and then the second I went live, she left. <laughs> no, so I'm gonna take her off, unfortunately. Okay, wait, before we get into what we're doing today, which, which is pumpkin yeah, We definitely brownies. don't want to tell people what we're doing today. <laughs> I, That's they, not how you start a stream. It's in the title, guys. Like, come on. <laughs> okay, before we do that, just a quick charity update for this month's charity. So I wanted to show you guys that. Give me a second. Um, so I decided to donate to Feline Cafe, which is a local business or nonprofit in Ottawa. I've donated to them before, if you remember, like a long time ago when we did our charity merch. We did Menchie and Zyler merch and we donated a lot to them, or they were one of the organizations that we donated to. Basically, they put out a GoFundMe earlier this month that they were in desperate need. So I was like, you called? <laughs> Cats in need? I'm there. <laughs> so um, they're still working towards their goal. So if anyone is, you know, able to they also appreciate people sharing this their gofundme so it's you know if you just search feline cafe gofundme actually i'll put it in the chat just to yeah can't remember what the technical term is they are their own rescue now they used to just like take in cats from other rescues to adopt out but now they're also yeah their own rescue let's say yeah, so yeah. They, they got me here when they said we cannot save everyone <laughs> because they couldn't save all the cats. Anyways, there's a story there if you want to read it. Um, and there's my donation, so there's the receipt there. So I didn't have to screenshot receipts. something additional. People believe you. I don't yeah. think you need okay, to show receipts. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What are we making, says Pr Princess Blingy. Okay, today we're making... <laughs> Miss Risa. <laughs> Today we're making pumpkin cheesecake brownies, Halloween edition with water marble. So it's extra scary. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you know those like fancy, kind of looks like a water marble where you see different designs and there's a bit of orange and brown and white and you don't know what it tastes like, but you know it's gonna be good kind of taste. Like that's what we're doing today. Um, that, that's the goal. Are you helping? Are you my assistant? Uh, we, we basically, we just had too much canned pumpkin left over from October. Uh, it's still so October. It's still October. But we just, we have a can of pumpkin. We needed something to do with it. <laughs> oh, did I miss a super chat? Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. So, okay. Do you think Mr. Beast ever sits alone at night and goes, I wish there was a Mrs. Beast? Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Because he's, you know, he's married to the content. Yeah, I think his content is his missus. But he's totally like a Citizen Kane figure, you know? One day he's gonna be in a chair 
holding on to something symbolizing the life he didn't leave, lead because he was too busy uh, making his making content empire. So he's gonna die like with the with the snow globe falling out of his hand. He's gonna say, "I wish I had a girlfriend." <laughs> I think he does have a girlfriend. Oh, he does have a girlfriend? Yeah, she's just not part of the content. Okay. <laughs> ben got told. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> whatever. Okay, uh, girlfriend or not, whatever, it's fine either way. <laughs> Rosebud. Okay, did I see ghosty orbs? What do you mean, Brittany? Ghost orbs. Stop! <laughs> do not stop it. Did, okay. you have, did you have nightmares last night? Yes. <laughs> You it's know okay, that. It's okay. Or maybe you didn't. You were I too did. busy sleeping peacefully. I was, I was sleeping peacefully. I've slept great after playing Faz. I was sleeping terribly the last week. A lot of stress. Played the spooky game. Slept like a baby. How does that make sense? I don't know. It's not fair. I want your sleep. Give me your sleep. Let's trade. Okay, should we read the instructions? Uh, Christ Christine is going to try baking today. I'm just supervising. Make sure you have your tea, everyone. <laughs> Tea's in the chat, let me see some tea. Thank you, Lou, from Argentina. I have a Canadian friend that's coming to visit and <laughs> bringing me David's tea. <laughs> <laughs> David. David's coming for you. Okay, instructions. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Done. Did you, did you do it? Okay, that was easy. Grease and flour, a nine, times 13 mm. inch baking pan. Do you remember your multiplication tables? Nine times 13? Yeah, what is it? That's 90 plus 27, 117. Do you, do you know the answer? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a test for Ben. Okay, where's the baking pan? How do you grease it, like butter? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, it's soaking wet. Okay, Definitely well, don't I'll, want that. <laughs> I'll wipe it. Don't worry guys, we got this. We're gonna make delicious brownies today. If you're making brownies, uh, write me too in the chat. Or Hashtag me too. No, don't, <laughs> Never mind. I'm changing my <laughs> No! <Nah! laughs> right, I'm making brownies too, simply. Wait, what did you do to Menchi? I just saw Menchi go down the stairs. She's wearing like a fucking bow. Yeah, she was wearing her Halloween costume. Menchi! Bring her here, show chat. I'm so what? sorry, Menchi. No, go get her. Why would you, what do you put on her? She the, looks like a pirate. She's Sailor Moon. She's Sailor Moon? Go get her. Go get her, or you wipe this clean, one or the other. Menchi! She was sitting in her bed in her cute little Sailor Moon costume. I know, chat wants to see Menchi. Bring Menchi, it's Halloween. Bring her, it's fine, Ben. So He's acting like I <laughs> ruined her. Bring her, bring little baby. Yeah, there's Menchie, come. Come Sailor Moon. You got a little Sailor Menchie. Sailor, Sailor Mench. Sailor Menchie, yeah. Oh. Good girl. <laughs> Yeah! Look, isn't it cute? It has the little bows, and on this side it has the little Sailor Moon like emblem. It's just like a cape. She's stressed out, take it off. She's not stressed. She doesn't like man. it. She's, he's just making this up. She was totally fine sleeping in it. She's a beauty. Does she want to put her Cinderella costume on instead? Okay, you, you make the brownies. Okay. <laughs> Acting like I, like I tortured her. It's just like a little cape, man. As long as it's not the armholes, they really don't like the armholes, but if it's just like a gentle cape, that's fine. So that's what's on her. There's no armholes. She's on. okay. See, she's fine. She's okay. Stop acting like I'm terrible. <laughs> she wants baby. to be held though, I think. Show her a bit closer to chat so they can see her costume better. There, look at little baby. She's so beautiful. Sailor Mench. Sailor Mench. Sailor Menchie. Fighting evil by daylight or moonlight, whatever. <laughs> Eating salmon by the moonlight. <laughs> Bye, Menchie. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, <clears throat> grease and flour a nine by 13 inch baking pan. Um, you can multiply that yourself. How do I Could grease? You measure it? Did I measure the pan? Yeah, is that nine by 13? I don't know. Do you have a measuring tape? <laughs> I don't have a measuring tape. Guess how big it is. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't care how big it is. This is the pan I'm using. <laughs> how do I grease it? Just throw butter on it? Yes. If you or grease, oil, right? You grease it just by throwing the butter in it. It's greased. <laughs> okay. Um applesauce, you wanna see Xyler. So he had a UPS costume. Um, but his delivery was late, so he's he'll probably be late to showing up on stream. Uh, what do I do? Do I just like rub the stick on? We don't have like a spray, a spray on thing, so just you like could this. just uh, literally yeah, just grease it all around, you know. It's nasty. <laughs> That's not nasty as shit. Here, wait. Hold this up. Hold up the pan and put it to the camera. Like closer. What? It's still wet. It's full D of it's water. It's just the, just the bottom. It's just underneath. It's fine. Hold it up to them. Why? Because I'm gonna draw on it. <laughs> okay. Hey, chat. I drew your name. It says chat. <laughs> you need to get it everywhere. You don't want it to All stick. Right. Guys, tell me if I missed a spot, okay? <laughs> There's probably a way more efficient way to do this, but. You know, I like to be effective. You could effective. just use your hands and then it's easy Absolutely to make sure it's- not. You don't want to touch the butter with your hands? Absolutely not. Well, I never you're touch You're too butter. good to touch butter? Absolutely. <laughs> you gotta get in those corners. I'm beyond butter. Yeah, I can't believe it's not butter. Okay, there. It's getting more malleable. Yeah, see when it's softer, you can do it. <laughs> Guys, on a scale of one to 10, how painful is this to watch? <laughs> Like you're a ghost. It's blocking you. <laughs> okay, it's getting easier though. Yeah. Okay, there. Can I, I think, put it down? I think that's sufficiently greased. What do you Just think? Just get up the sides a little bit more. Okay. I need to beat together stuff, so can you bring me the beater? Bring you the beater? Yeah. Ooh, leave it to beater. Man, she's so cute right there. Man, she's sitting in her costume in the chair. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Such a proud mom. <laughs> What's your child wearing on Halloween? Mine, Sailor Menchie. She's gonna get scooped. Yeah, but she has special powers, so she's okay. Can I pass this to you, Mickey? Yep. It's okay, Sailor Menchie. Should I put it on here? I can't remember what no, we did no, last we'll just year. Keep it here. Just we just don't need it yet, though. Okay. Well, it, no, we do. We have to beat together melted butter, sugar, pumpkin, eggs, and vanilla in a large bowl. Did you butter and flour the pan? Oh. What does flour the pan mean? Just like go like this? So basically, you want like just a thin, thin amount of flour over the whole thing. Hi, Manji. I'll show you the hack. Like this? So more probably, yeah. So do that, but then if you just pick it up and shake it, you'll see it go around. Just shake it. No, it's stuck. Obviously. Because it's on the butter. Shake it harder. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> it's not working. It didn't work? No. Did you not put enough? See, it's just stuck. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> You need way more flour. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Praise be. Yeah, there's just not enough flour in there. Too much butter. But I did a good job with the butter. <laughs> See, there you go. See it? I was shaking. Okay, Ben's. <laughs> All right, we just needed a band to shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake it. Shake, shake it. Shake it off. Kind of need it Shake on it the off. Sides, your favorite so. singer. What's your favorite song on Moonlight? On Midnight. Moonlight. <laughs> Moonlight. Fake fan. I don't. Um, the one with Bonnie Bear. Or that was the last no. one. <laughs> What's your favorite track on Midnight's? 
<laughs> the one with where she goes shimmer. Oh yeah, you already said this. Yeah. What's your favorite track on Tubalo? How do, how do I say it? <laughs> Tubalo is how she says it. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Okay, well. Fake fan. Fake fan. <laughs> Makes me want to bake. Okay, we'll start baking. Who? Ch I missed it. Who's baking with us? Right, I'm baking too in the chat. Oh, I'm tired from all that shaking. Okay, well, we got more to do. Who's baking? Who's baking with us? Are you making what we're making? You're on your own. What? <laughs> You're on your own, kid. <laughs> oh, no. You're baking. A cat violinist is baking. Wow, that's really impressive. Snazzy L. C C C C C Mel, lots of bakers. Okay, we got bakers in the chat. Um, you're probably waiting for the next step, aren't you, Dan? Why okay. do you street? Why do you? Why do we bake at like 11 a.m.? Cause like, we'll eat it at the perfect time. What do you mean? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> okay, beat together melted butter, sugar, pumpkin, eggs, flour. It's too many to remember. Start passing them here. Butter? Um, uh, how much butter? It says... I mean, this is half a cup less what you put in the pan. Okay, so that's fine. Just use that. <laughs> Just use that. Just use that. Half a cup of butter and um, sugar. Two cups granulated sugar. Can we get measure that out? Or do I just throw it in now? Well, you gotta melt it. You gotta melt the butter, right? Yeah. Okay. Give me a bowl. How do I melt it? Like, what do I put it in? You do it the stove or just the microwave? The microwave. Just don't over, overheat it. What should I put it in, though? Just like a bowl? A bowl. You probably want to add a little bit to that just because you used some in your thing. I barely used it, though. So that's fine. Okay, how, how much melt do you need? 30 seconds? Yeah, just do like 30 seconds at a time. Okay, we're melting the butter. Two cups of sugar. Can I just dump it in so I don't forget? Uh, Where's you, the sugar? You could lift it up. Where's the sugar? Where's the heater? Oh. <laughs> we're gonna need a beater. Dishes away soaking wet. What? I don't know what I'm doing. This? Is this what we want? It's all wet in here. Okay, Ben, is this what we want or not? No. No? No. What do we want? You put it somewhere else. It's it looks like that, but it's plastic. It's plastic? Yeah. Like it's got it's the beater. Oh here. There it is, yeah. Okay. Found it. It's Halloween. Okay. All right. You just noticed my hood? Yeah. Bitch, I'm a unicorn. Is that a Tubbo song? What? Bitch, I'm a unicorn? Is that Tubbo? No. I forget who it is, but it's not Tubbo. Then she get off the counter. No, she can stay. She can do whatever she wants. It's Halloween. Yeah. Okay, two cups of these. This is really hard to scoop in. Can you help me? What's wrong? Okay, I need you to pour, or I'll just do it. I just might make a mess. <laughs> It'd be easier if you could help me. <laughs> can you just pick it up and put it on over top? <laughs> so that way I can, yeah, put it on top. Okay, mm, one. Pour one. Is that one? Yeah. Okay, then two. Okay, two. Pour it. There you go. Okay, melted butter.
And she's sitting on her Cinderella outfit on the other side of the kitchen counter. We'll let her on the counter today. Okay. Um, eggs. Now we need eggs, so that's three eggs. And vanilla, basically however much you want. Three eggs, where's the eggies? Eggs are there. Oh. <laughs> so the whole egg. Crack an egg on your head, make the yolk go down. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm scared. You can do it. Wait, is there a macro view? Not really. Do you want me to move it? I'll move it up. Sure. She can stay. She can do whatever she wants. She's queen. Turn down the ISO a bit. Put it more. Um, no, that's uh, that's fine. Just turn on the ISO. Good. Uh, one up. Perfect. Okay. Ready? Nasty. <laughs> I hate touching it. Touch it, touch it. Ew, I hate touching oh, it. My Ew, God. it's all over me. <laughs> it's like brains. Ew. No, oh, it went. It went everywhere. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Help. Help. Ah! No, the egg. What did she do? It fell under the garbage bin. Under the garbage. Under the garbage. Five minutes, Chad. <laughs> you seem really stressed. Yeah, it's hard out we're just, here. We're just baking. Okay. Baking is fun. Right. Therapeutic. Just phasmophobia is fun. They said. How do I make sure this is on? So you see how there's like a notch for it to go over that nub? Oh. Yeah, up and then twist. Does that feel secure? No. So other way twist maybe? Oh, like that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There okay. you go. I need vanilla. Good baby girl. I like baking. We just end up with too many uh, baked goods. Are you measuring that? I don't need to. <laughs> no need to measure the vanilla. Okay. Now put this down. Mm -hmm. So press the button. Yeah. Ready, chat? Well, what does it say? It says, beat it together in a large bowl. Let's beat it. Start so so. You can get to beat it. Okay, let me two more. Wow. That looks pretty beaten. Oh. oh no! It's fat! You probably want a little bit more? I think it went on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on the camera. It's good. <laughs> more? Is there supposed to be pumpkin in here? 
simply. <laughs> no, I forgot the pumpkin. Oh no, Ben, why didn't you tell me earlier? <laughs> Here, okay. Pumpkin, don't forget the pumpkin. Oh, let's just take it. Yeah, that's what I said, it fell everywhere. Oh my God, things are going great, guys. Okay, how do I open this, like this? <laughs> yeah, you use the can opener? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, Chad, help me! How much pumpkin? Uh, can you scroll up and see? One can. One can of pumpkin? Okay, well that's easy. How do they know what size your can is? No, no, what? What? Is that what it said? Yeah, it just said one can. How do they know? Like, is it a big can? Is it a baby can? One cup can. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm not okay today. Uh, no, here's the cup, just use this. Okay. Unless it's not allowed, it's illegal for like wet or whatever. Is it open? Yep. Yeah, I'm not worried. Pumpkin is, uh, it's not wet or dry. It's magic. Okay, is that a cup? There you go. Very precise. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Good job. What do we do with the rest of this pumpkin? All right, here we go again. You're like leaking feathers and shit. Can you take this off, by the way? Yeah, like. <laughs> wow. It's so orange. It kind of looks like cheese. People notice you're wearing everything is fine. I'm shedding. Okay. Man, that really smells like pumpkin. <laughs> Did I say leaking feathers? Yeah, you said leaking feathers. It's like Another word for that is shedding. You're shedding. <laughs> whatever you want to call whatever that was. Okay. It looks like cheese. All right, guys, then you're gonna take your cheese <laughs> and spread it on so some toast. It. So do you have another bowl for okay, dry? Okay, in a separate bowl, whisk together other shit. Use a glass bowl. Okay. I'll just temporarily move this guy over here. Um. together cocoa flour and everything else so let's see two-thirds of a cup of cocoa so just get a third of a cup can I use this I prefer the metal ones Baking soda. So two thirds, right, of this. This is cocoa. You need to be more precise than you're being. This is, uh, what are you talking about? That's fine. It's two thirds. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it smells nice. So, cocoa, flour, baking soda, and salt. That's easy. So one cup of flour. I need a cup. Or I'll just do three of these. No, 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 don't put that in there. <laughs> don't. <laughs> a cup. Okay. Don't overfill it. Okay. We were a little light on the butter, so I don't want to overdo the dry ingredients. So like, don't pack it in. Just try to have it like more loosely in there, but it should be a little low. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> like this? Sure. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> half a teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon. Used not only for tea. 
But for pumpkin brownie. Half a teaspoon. And then also salt. One, one teaspoon salt. This kind of salt, not the pink salt that you would grate on your vegetables. Grate. Um, so one teaspoon, so I'll just do two of these. Sure. Wow. Mm. Under his eye. Praise me. Okay. <clears throat> then, we're gonna whisk it. Yeah. With a whisk. powder we used. I don't know. It's Dutch, the cocoa powder, right? Or something? I don't know. I can't remember. But it tastes good. <laughs> All right. Then you do a little whiskey. Look at that. Mm-mm. Looks like dirt. That, that's fine, right? Yep. That's whisked enough. So add the dry ingredients to the wet and mix until combined. Okay, that should be easy, right? Yeah. So put this back in the middle. Uh-huh. And just pour the dry in. Just dump it in, like this? Well, we could use this guy if you okay. want to try to control it. Yes. So, so I, I just go like go like this. Yeah. Here you go. You can cut up. Another it. scoop, sir. Yeah, you want another one? Have another one, sir. <laughs> you probably don't have to. Eat bite. up. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you're a hungry little mixer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at you. You're eating good tonight. You can't see. You can see it going. Here you go. This this one's for chat. You ask for baking, I'll give you baking. I'll give you so much baking. Just pour it in. <laughs> we don't want to over mix it here, so just, here, just, there you go. There. Smells something, eh? Just want to get some of this pumpkin goodness off the sides. Tyler, where's your Halloween costume? Took it off. He was a UPS driver, but he said, fuck it, I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm no delivery boy. I am the delivery. <laughs> hey, Tyler, you got a package for me? Give me that brownie. Mm. He smells it. As soon as we all opened the pumpkin, he came over. Eh? Oh yeah. Does Isla like pumpkin? Has he ever eaten a pumpkin? He's thinking about it. So Isla, what what tastes do you like? What smells get you? Oh, is it the butter? Butter or pumpkin? Okay. How much does Isla weigh? Um, probably like sixteen pounds. I doubt it. You doubt it? What do you think he weighs? When he was really overweight, he was almost twenty. Yeah, but he's not like. He's but now he's now. like an old man. Yeah, he's much smaller. Yeah, so he's like 16. Little 16 pounder. Hey, boy. We should weigh him. Do we have a food scale? We should weigh Zyler, and if the if the scale says fat, then he's fat shaming people. <laughs> but then we'll edit it out of the video. I won't edit it out. <laughs> okay. He's, a, he's not quite a 40 pound baby, he's a 16 pound baby. He's very relaxed right now, what is he doing? He's just like listening to the music and vibing. 
Sally's like, mm, I'm vibing. Mm, 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 mm. He is like 14 or 15 years Imagine old. Imagine trying to police other people being able to express their own insecurities about their body weight in their video as if they're the problem. Can you can you imagine that? Was this gonna be a podcast? Can you topic? imagine having that mindset? It's toxic. Okay. Ben has thoughts on Taylor Swift drama. Okay. Could we get Zyler out of the kitchen for a bit? Well, he loves it here. He lives here. I know he lives with oh, us. I understand. Are you okay? Just kind of coughed a little. Do you see that? You okay, bud? You okay? You have COVID? Don't say that. Okay, Zyler, here you go. <laughs> you should just Maybe wash your hands. Just reached for him. Okay, so it goes in the pan, right? Um, add the dry ingredients to the wet, mix together, pour batter into prepared pan. Let's get a good shot of that. Not here. Here, put okay. it here. If I hold it, you can scoop up. <laughs> if I hold it, you can scoop up. Oh yeah, look at that brownie batter. It doesn't seem like very much. Is it just like the base layer? Thank you, Ginger Psycho. Well, did we measure our pan? Is our pan too big? That's kind of all I can scrape out. <laughs> you can't get the rest? Oh, I didn't even see. Hold on, well, I can't see. <laughs> there, now I can see. <laughs> This is our base coat. <laughs> this okay. is our brownie base coat. Okay, this is smoothing brown base coat. Got it. You're covered in cat hair, eh? Okay, well, what do you want me to do? I'm trying to scoop. I want you to stop picking up cats when we're in the middle <laughs> okay. of baking things. Can you scoop the rest? I'll I'm, do the rest. I'm inadequate at it. Oh, you Here. spilled it. Get it all. Get it all. <laughs> okay, where's you the lint roll? You lint roll. <laughs> Seems like a thin brownie. But I think that's kind of the point. I we, think our pan's put, too big. Yeah, but we put stuff on top of it, remember? Yeah, but still, I, I feel like we don't have enough. So it said 913. This looks only a little bit bigger than that, but I think it is bigger. Yeah, remember we're adding a layer on top of this. So I think kind of the point is there's more brownie at the bottom and then the top half is like... Still, like I can't even whatever. get to the edges, you know? Well, like if you get me a butter knife, we need every last bit of this okay. batter off of here. Can't afford to waste any. especially in that side. We must preserve the brownie. It's like gold. Oh well, no! Okay, Chris. I didn't mean to. Well, okay. It's not that hard. <laughs> Why does everything seem so hard? <laughs> Wait, there's some here. You can get it. You get off the beater as well. <laughs> Ben's like, Chris, why did you do that? And I'm like, I didn't mean to! <laughs> okay, yeah. It was outside of my locus of control. <laughs> like in psychology class. In my hierarchy of needs. Where they teach Brownies. you, where they teach you like why you should be mad at someone, like whether it was in their control or out of their control, like internal or external. I feel like I will always remember that from first year psych and it helps me decide, <laughs> it helps me decide whether to be mad at someone or not. <laughs> I, so, I should have taken that class. So, so in this case, like what I did was not intentional. Like. <laughs> So don't be mad. It's just the way this knife works, you know? It's outside I know you don't mean to, but when you're like, I tried to throw an egg in the garbage and it missed. <laughs> like, maybe it is in your control <laughs> how that happens, you know? <laughs> no! You get off the edge there, too. Okay. Guys, we're doing psychology. You think these are just brownies? Oh, no. Absolutely not. This is, this is your brain, okay? Now we're gonna mix it up, add more shit to it. Just like life. Add shit to your brain. And you don't know what to do with it. Let's bake it. Mm. 
doesn't even reach the corners. How big is this pan? Welcome to the Mensch Gang. Um, it's fine. It's going to be fine. Just have faith, you know? Just cross your fingers. <laughs> cross your fingers, Chad. Okay, to make the cheesecake filling, beat together cream cheese, which is here. <clears throat> Maybe we should wipe this because we're, we're going to get ourselves messy. So we could use this bowl now. I blame it on my lack of sleep, which is actually your fault, because we play scary games. So. That was a lot of fun yesterday. Would you play again? <laughs> like, here's the thing. I still had fun playing with you. Like, yeah. it's not like I didn't have fun. Thank you guys. 12 months, Mensch Gang. Woo! Wait, whoop, didn't, whoop. I was looking at that the other day. If someone puts exclamation charity in the chat, in that link, it's like an update on the charity stuff, but also it says what date I started memberships. What was the date? I can't remember, but I know that it exists. So if you put charity in the chat, it should come up. Like if you click that, hold on. Yeah, it says November 24th they were launched. So it says November 24th they were launched, but I guess YouTube is just thinking like you're in month 12. So therefore it's 12 months, but it hasn't actually been a full year. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. That's why, that's probably why there is no rainbow badge yet. So I think member chats will say 12 months, but I, I'm guessing that the reason why your badges, your little stars, haven't changed to rainbows for those of you who, um, who uh, became a member a year ago, I think it's like gonna wait until November, I think. But I don't know, that'll be exciting when there's people who have rainbows. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Okay, so this is clean enough, so put this aside. Yep. YouTube goes by when you start your month, not when you complete it. Right. But they're like telling people, it says 12 months, but yet they don't have the rainbow. I don't know, okay. We'll find out in next month. <laughs> All right, so what's going in here? In here, we are doing cheesecake filling. Cream cheese, sugar, egg, vanilla, pumpkin pie, spice. Cream cheese, sugar, egg, vanilla. Cream cheese, sugar, egg, vanilla. Chat, write that down. <laughs> For the cheesecake swirl, um, four ounces of cream cheese. How much is this? Uh, what, what is four ounces? Just tell me how many bricks. Is that half a brick of cream cheese? Someone do the conversion for us, quick. <laughs> how much is this brick? What's four ounces? This brick is 250 grams. How many ounces? One brick is eight ounce. So you need half. Half, half, of, half of this block. Half of this block of cheese. Okay. <laughs> you just don't want to touch anything, eh? <laughs> no. Make sure it's half. That's half. <laughs> Do the bigger half. <laughs> See, it wasn't half. Just touch it with your hands, it's fine. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get out! Get out! Get out of me! Oh no! <laughs> We're making quite the mess. now put it on a, a bagel put it on a bagel and cream cheese yeah let's go to kettleman's let's go to kettleman's after this bagel ah no it went in my nail did you cut yourself or it just went in your nail 
No, no. I'm, I'm safe. I just got cream cheese in my mail. Don't right. worry, guys. I'm safe. Third of a cup sugar. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Betty. Hope he's doing okay. Oh, Betty. Oh, I keep touching the that's, fucking cream cheese. That's some pain, kidney stones. I think I had kidney stones once. You think? Yeah. I thought I was dying. But you didn't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was just some bad sushi. <laughs> okay, Ben. <laughs> All right. Um, cream cheese, uh, a third of a cup granulated sugar. Oh, yeah, Done. thank you. One eggy. One eggy. One eggy. Ooh, Betty. One eggy uh, vanilla. I think I put it away. No, yep, vanilla's here. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I throw this one in the garbage. Oh, yeah. In the garbage. Hey. And vanilla. And pumpkin spices or whatever? So we need, we don't have pumpkin spice. We're gonna need to make our own pumpkin spice. Right, it's basically just blending the ingredients that you associate with pumpkin spice. So here it is, it's, it's this one? <laughs> Cumin, no it's not. <laughs> Even I one. know that, Ben. Good one. Good one. Ben, Good one. Uh, ben thinks I'm stupid. You got it. Cinnamon, Cinnamon yes. Got ginger, clove, and cardamom. No, not cardamom. It's not cardamom. No, it's nutmeg, right? Oh, nutmeg. How do I know this? I learned something from the PSL stream. I've got oregano. No. Where's the nutmeg? There's no cilantro. Chat, stop it. <laughs> I got cinnamon sticks. Uh, will they sink? What, what are our proportions though? I'm not sure. It just says half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, which means very little of all of these things. Come on, this is a full thing. Yeah, where's our nutmeg though? I lost the nutmeg. Is it this? I don't know. We might have thrown it out if it was oh, too old. Oh, it was a little box. It wasn't that old. Oh, did I throw it out? I think you threw it. I cleaned out the cupboard like a few weeks ago. Because it was everything was old and nasty. Do we have at least have ginger though, right? Yes. So I would do like uh, just a little bit, right? Quarter, quarter cinnamon, eighth like, ginger. Like, how am I gonna measure this? Quarter cinnamon, eighth ginger. You just take off the lid. Oh. <laughs> In uh, a half teaspoon. No, no, quart. Get a quarter. Do we have an eighth? This is an eighth. Yeah, so two, two of those of cinnamon. That's weird. There's plastic in this. Is that plastic? Yeah. Oh, well, don't use that one. We have other cinnamon. It's, yeah. But it's closed, or, okay. You just use the bag. Didn't put plastic in, did you? No, it's back in. So is that one quarter? So another quarter. Yep. And then quarter ginger, right? No clove? Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of clove. Just like a little bit. So we'll do quarter ginger. Okay. And just like a tiny, tiny bit. And then bit a pinch. A, a little pinch. Oh, we already have done a little too much, but here's just a pinch of clove. Careful! Just a tiny pinch! Why don't you just actually pinch it? Like this. Okay, that's enough. That's too big, Ben! <laughs> People like clove. Oh, no, they do not. Okay, do we have everything? Did I pour the vanilla? Vanilla? <laughs> I don't see any vanilla in there. Okay. 
careful. I pour more when you do that. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Did I miss pumpkin or something? No, I didn't. It says reserve two thirds of a cup of this mixture and set it aside because that's where we mix in the pumpkin later. So let's do a little blendy blendy wendy. Okay, see this, I picked this one because it actually goes in. You're so smart. There you go. Okay, People they, just can't really see. They can't see, so well, don't, you can do don't picture, put it on the macro. Yeah, no, never mind. There's no point. You can't see anyways. You just need to see us. So beat it. Just beat it. Sailor Minchie over there. Hi. Hi, Minchie. No. no. Oh, she's stuck. <laughs> she got stuck. <laughs> that looks pretty nasty. Wait, this doesn't look like enough of anything. Hold on, hold on a sec, hold on. What? Hold, stop, stop. Why does this look so dark? It's supposed to be like a white cream cheese. Did we do something wrong? said four ounces of cream cheese. No. Third can cup canned pumpkin? Or no, that's after, that's after. That's for after, yeah. But this is supposed to look like a white, fluffy. It's probably because of the spices that you added. That's why Something just seems white. very strange about this. <laughs> The clove? Someone said mine is dark too, it's the spices. The whole point is to, you know, here you wanna see? It's still white compared to the manchi. <laughs> what is she doing? She's gonna try to come over here. Manchi! What are you doing, girl? Yes, there's an egg in there. So it's a little bit yellow. That's kind of makes sense. Um, Stuck on the beater a bit. I think maybe we just add a little more cream cheese in here. I think you're kind of right, yeah. I think so too. Let's just make an executive decision, okay? Take some more cream Also, there's cheese. like almost none of this. Yeah. It's so little. Because we're gonna make it does say to reserve some of it, which doesn't even make any sense. Cause like there's not much to preserve. There's barely any brownie basically in here. Basically you're supposed to take some of this and cut it and add pumpkin. Okay, does this sound good? Sure. <laughs> okay, try that. It was a third cup sugar, right? That's it? Cause I did that. Yeah. Just whip it. Whip it. Whip it good. All right, we're gonna beat it for a few minutes. I think that's what it needs. This pan is too big. I wish we had a smaller one. We should have used it. It's still too big. That would have helped, though, right? So it 
does say to reserve two thirds of a cup of a mixture. Let's use that. That helps, but yeah. it has little bits in it. Is that just like? It's kind of weird. How do you get rid of that? Do you want to see chat? It looks whiter. Well, could you put PNP? Yeah, that helped. There's still just not much of it, though. You know? Yeah, and we have to reserve two thirds of it for us white and take the remaining to make pumpkin colored. Mm. Okay, let's just let's just keep moving on. You know? We'll just hope. hope you gotta do what you gotta do. Good. It's gonna be fine, everybody. You just gotta believe. But it says reserve two thirds. Like there's maybe two thirds of a cup in here total. I know. That doesn't make any sense. They lied to us. This recipe sucks. Simply added vanilla after the sugar and again after the spices. Did you add double vanilla? Did I? That would make it darker as well. Did I? I mean, there's evidence. <laughs> there's if, video I don't know. evidence. I'll have to review the evidence later. <laughs> oh no. Simply no. I added vanilla twice. Why would you do Why that? Why did I do that? Wait, should we start again? Do we just double? Do we just double the cheesecake portion of the recipe? We could just yeah. do that. Yeah, just put in all the cream cheese. You already have the vanilla you need. What else would we need? An egg. That's a lot. Another egg, yeah. Another egg and sugar. And another third of a cup of sugar. Okay, we're not restarting it. We're just adding to it. We're gonna make up for it, right? We're gonna make up for my mistakes that were not in my locus of control. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it was not intentional. Okay, another eggy. <laughs> Third of a cup. Yeah, and vanilla is delicious as fuck. Exactly, Jean. So, you know, Jean. Jean or Jean? You spilled egg everywhere on the outside. <laughs> how do you not know how to crack an egg? <laughs> how is that so difficult? <laughs> Guys, like, I am the living example of the person who can never do anything right right now. <laughs> like, I know what it's like when you're just that person who just can't do anything right. What would we do without Ben? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Here, Let's people do this again. I want people to see it start up. Okay. I just moved it, so. Oh, do we need more spices? Nope. No? Faster. I think we need to add spices. No, 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 no. Why? We already overdid the spice a bit. Okay. Ben said no, not me, chat. At least I have millions of followers in a nail brand, said Chatter. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't quit my day jobs. Thank you, Betty. Ooh, it's getting close to the top. Careful. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't bake for a living. <laughs> you having a good time? <laughs> oh! People are saying we should double the brownie recipe so it actually fits in the pan, too. No. No? Is there enough brownie in here? Look how thin that is. It'll just be a thin brownie, it's fine. Like it barely goes, it doesn't even go to the edges. 
It'll be, you'll still see it. I think it'll work. It's okay, you can just have like a thin brownie. Um, I think this recipe sucks. Okay, what do I do now? This is this is blendy. <laughs> yeah. Blendy, so it looks whiter, so that's good. It's still very brownish. I think the vanilla extract is just really powerful. Yeah, I think also, right. it's lumpy. How do we get it not lumpy? Yeah, I don't think there's anything we could do about that. Blend for longer, they say? The cream cheese was room temperature. I don't know why it's so lumpy. Oh yeah, the brownies will rise. Sure. They will rise, and so will we. The rise. Rise up. Of brownie. Rise up, chat. Let's go. <laughs> they keep saying to use a whisk attachment. I don't know. Eh. No? Okay. I, I've, I've resigned myself that this is not gonna turn out well. Ben, he's quitting <laughs> can, on me. We can tell. Ben, you're, are know. You, you're quiet quitting. I'm quiet quitting this <laughs> recipe, yeah. Okay, all right, let's, I'm gonna recover it. That's fine, it's <laughs> okay, fine. We're gonna luck. make this work, okay? Mix two thirds of a cup and set aside in another bowl. Can I use this? Can I use this, Ben? I got you a glass bowl, yeah. Okay, so. The third of a cup is there. This. So two thirds of a cup will be reserved over here. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically double that, but I would just do two thirds of a cup. Oh no, yeah, you're right. We should do more, right? Or no, should no, we not just, do more? I'd start with that. Okay. This stuff is all kind of optional anyway, you know? Optional. This, this, so how much this stream is optional. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Okay, mix the pumpkin into the remaining cheesecake mixture. How much? What do you pumpkin? mean the the pumpkin? Well, it said above. You want mix the entire pumpkin. A third of a can of pumpkin in here. It says. Isn't that crazy? Into. Into the into this part. Into this. Yep. Into the remaining, or is that the remaining? No, that here. Or... Valid question. I think it's this one. You Let's... think? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So just mix it. And now you should have two small bowls of cheesecake batter and pumpkin cheesecake batter. So this is our pumpkin cheesecake. See, yeah, nice and orange, looks pretty. Mmm, spooky. So that's mostly what we want to use. Well, we want to use both because you do a marble with the two of them. I think oh would, my gourd! It would look better if you just did the orange though, no? No, you're supposed to do both so you get three colors. That's the point. It's always overcomplicating. Okay, so. Just like you, it's just like you to do that. Because <laughs> I want three shades to do the marble with, not two. All right, you want to do decorating? That's, yeah. That's all you. Okay, that finally, it's department. my time to shine, guys. Let's get a good shot. You're going to have to... Edge. Can you optimize the camera? No, that's good That's enough. pretty good. Okay. All right, let me read the instructions. How do they describe water marbling? Mix the pumpkin into the remaining cheesecake. You should blah, 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 blah. Starting with the white batter, spoon the mixture onto the brownie batter in thin rows. I guess they mean just do like stripes down, just like you would do with like a drag marble on a nail art mat. Then do the same with pumpkin cheesecake batter. Don't worry if they touch or if it's not perfect. This is exactly what I would have said in a video tutorial. <laughs> Run a butter knife. Now we'll use like a water marbling stick. No, this is... the, no, I prefer the wood stick. I'm, it's more natural for me. I think you'll need something harder. Um, to get this world look, don't overdo it. <laughs> like, I like this stick. <laughs> you want to skewer? This guy, I like the skewer. Okay. Okay? All right, it's all you. <sighs> Just don't cross contaminate, use a different spoon. Everyone say a prayer for the water marbling witches. Um, I hope that they enter my spirit right now as I go ahead and water marble this cheesecake. It's like 
too liquidy. Wouldn't do too much, not too much. You need room for the orange. Don't worry, I'm gonna like lump it on top, so it's fine. That's enough, that's way too much. No, it's fine then. Ben's telling me that he did it. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Ben, where are you going? Ben, come back. We really do have a lot of this though, like too much. Yeah, don't, don't use it all. Okay. All right, ready? It looks like cheese. Why does it look like cheese? Uh. It's not really like, hmm. Like that looks cool, but it's not really, here, I kind of have to do it this way too, maybe. Like this. That looks better. I guess once it bakes, it'll look better. But like the brown has trouble running into the other shades. <laughs> the other shades. <laughs> the brown is too thick and pasty, and the other colors are easier. So the other shades on top are just like sticking on top. You know what I mean? No, I don't want to cover the whole brownie because then you won't get the brown. But it's like I almost wish I could drag the brown through, you know? But it's not really working. Yeah. The brownie will raise through. Yeah, I think our base color will kind of rise up through the others once it gets cooked. But if we swirl too much, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Yeah, but the knife is so if you're thinking that this didn't eat through, yes it did. Like it absolutely went through to the brownie. So it would have been the same thing. Like here. See what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to like scoop the brown up. Sure, that kind of works. See, if this was nail polish, it would be drying on me right now. Okay, I feel like I'm fucking it up though. Okay, I think, let's, this is not cheese, chat. It's not, this is not Velveeta cheese or whatever. Velveeta. <laughs> okay, can we put it in the oven? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Stop laughing. It'll look better after it's yeah. baked. You just didn't pity fuck up. No, no fuck up. How big is this pan? Do you have a measuring tape? <laughs> It'll look better when it's cooked, guys. Okay, how long do I put it in? Um, bake for 30 to 40 minutes. Can you open it up? Yep. going in. And it's so thin, I would guess 30. 30? Okay. If that. Woo, it's time for a tea break. Just do you. Thank you. <laughs> Super chat. Hold on. We could clean. We could make a mini brownie. What's a mini brownie? Let's do uh, a Q, uh, Q and A. Taylor Swift Q and A. <laughs> what do you want to do? I want to make tea. Okay, make every and, bake logical. And then, and then we can show them the cats in their costumes again, and then we can clean up. Okay. It's only half an hour. Ben's acting like he doesn't do five hour streams. <laughs> What are we gonna do for half an hour? <laughs> okay, so put this away. Chat, can you help clean up? Don't just sit there. Come on, guys. What did I say? <laughs> Wait, how do I, what do I do with this? Clean it. <laughs> okay. Hey, you 
want to share this with me? What is it? I'm scared. Cover your eyes. I'm gonna focus on. There, it's focusing. Fury ginger? Fury? Fiery? Fiery? Wait, how do you Guy Fieri? <laughs> is it Fiery? Fiery. You wanna try it? Fieri. It's ginger juice, orange juice, ginger, lemon juice, turmeric, citrus turmeric fiber, or turmeric? black pepper extract, and oregano extract. Ew. Does not sound delightful. Ooh. Ginger Fieri. Ben's doing shots. What kind of reaction was that? Oh my god, your whole mouth is yellow. Ew, like your teeth are stained yellow. Really? Yeah. Ah, that's bad. <laughs> Try it. Nope. Try it. <laughs> I'm not, I can't even smell it. I had half the shot, you have the other half. It's good for it. you. I don't, I want bab for me. <laughs> okay, that's you me. want brownies. I want... <laughs> oh my oh. god. Ben, why? Oh, it's the pepper, I think. Why did you want that? You don't want the rest? <laughs> you don't want to try it? <laughs> Absolutely not, Ben. Okay, I'm making tea. Tea time. you go back in bed? No. <laughs> I like how I can just like check. Where's my cat? <laughs> okay, I'm heating up my tea. <sighs> We're gonna relax a little, cause we deserve it. I deserve it. I don't know about you, I don't know how your baking went today or whatever you're doing, but personally, you know, you gotta recognize when you deserve a nice cup of tea. So allow that for yourself, chat. Boil the kettle. What what dance is this? Can you do the Dua Lipa dance? What's the Dua Lipa dance? Where she just like, the pencil sharpener. Like her upper body stays in place, but just one, one hip sort of swings up. Is it like to the side? No, no, it's, it's like a twist. <laughs> but you're supposed to keep your shoulders basically in place. <laughs> I don't know. I need to see the reference material. It You've sounds, never seen it. It sounds like dance? Ben has studied it. Um, I <laughs> have not studied it. I've looked it. intently. <laughs> now swing your arms. Oh, can you do the Luddy? No. How do you do the Ludwig? You need to see the feet though, right? <laughs> but the other hand goes up front, right? It goes I, can, like I think I could kind of do it. What kind of tea are you making? Hot tea, bitch! Um, probably some Melbourne Brecky. You love gray sweatpants. So that's weird. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about these color sweatpants? Okay. I like, uh, what color is this? I don't know what color you describe this as. Let's fight. What color are my sweatpants? <laughs> Teal, aqua? Teal or aqua? Something like that? Green? Are they green? I don't know. Not, not really. Teal. You fucking people are colorblind. It's not. Teal's darker. So this is more like. That's teal. No. It's like light. It's too. Isn't teal dark? What's the word for a. Uh, what's that word for like a blue of uh, turquoise? Turquoise? Is it turquoise? 
It's a light teal or turquoise. Is it Tiffany Blue? Well, that's copyright. <laughs> sea foam. See, I think this is um, a little darker than sea foam home. Oh, I don't know if you're referring to the shade name, but <laughs> this is cold. It's not turquoise. It's not. It's not mint mojito. I'm worried these brownies are only gonna take like 10 minutes. Okay, wait, wait. You gotta watch my mug change. Look, the leaves. Guys, it's leaf season on my mug. See how the leaves showed up slowly over time? It's a color changing mug when it's hot. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. This mug is on my Simply Faves Picks page. I love this one for fall. I also love dark mugs. I don't know, because they just like suit my aesthetic more. So I really like this one. Also, the inside is black. I appreciate when the inside of mugs are black because then I can't tell when they're dirty and I prefer that. <laughs> or the tea. It doesn't like look as ugly, you know, when you look in it because it's just all black. <laughs> yeah, it also doesn't show tea stains. No tea stains here. Christine, why do we bake cookies and cook bacon? Is it because one's in the oven? That's actually a good question. Why do we cook? Um, I mean, I didn't make the rules. I think it's kind of silly that we have to associate cooking with only things on the stove, I guess, and baking with things in the oven. Or it's just like associated with different types of foods, like whether it's desserty or dinnery. I don't I didn't make the fucking rules, but you could bake bacon if you want. <laughs> okay, what else did I miss? When you start to smell the brownies, check them. Okay, thank you, McKinsey. I do not smell right now. Simply and Ben bringing up color, then leaving chat to argue. Oh, who's still arguing? I missed the joke? What was the joke? <laughs> I bake bacon in the oven? What did I miss? Oh my god, what did I do? Ben, did you get the joke? What's the joke? Why do you um, cook cookies but... Do you want to hear a no, joke? No, wait, I said it wrong. Why do you bake cookies but cook bacon? Is it because bacon and cookies, so it's like opposite? Is that the joke? It's not very funny. <laughs> do you understand what the, what the chat is trying to say? I've got a joke. Oh, what, what's that? All right. So uh, a creepy guy and a little kid are walking oh, no, into the no, forest. No, 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 no. Owls are hooting. Uh, it's all dark. It's creepy. It's cold. It's scary, right? They're they're scared. They're walking through the woods, and the little, and the little kid goes to the man like, "Mister, I'm so scared. Uh, what are we gonna do?" And the and the man goes, "You're scared." I'm the one who's gonna have to be walking out of here alone. Cause he's gonna... He's gonna kill the kid. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> who told you that joke? Probably like an 80 year old man. Ryan Gosling told me that joke. What? Ryan Gosling. When? Where? A few years ago. How? In what context? In the context of Cornwall, Ontario. Were you both there in person? No. Were you watching him do an interview? A movie. You stole his joke? Yeah. Wait, is that, it? was the joke um, just the plot of the movie? What? You ask all these questions. <laughs> I mean, so just I let mean, things happen sometimes. I mean, no answers. You made that joke three years ago? Actually, it does sound <laughs> familiar. <laughs> you, you're recycling dad jokes. But like, let's be honest, yeah, you can't blame it on Ryan Gosling. Don't do that to Ryan Gosling, okay? Just, you gotta accept responsibility with you chose to tell that terrible joke more than once. 
It's on you. It's a good joke. <laughs> it's like I'm interrogating. I have the right to cross-examine Ben if he's trying to say, "Oh yeah, I heard this from Ryan Gosling," and I don't believe it. I have the right to ask more questions. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing funnier than asking a bunch of questions about a joke. <laughs> it's just to make sure I understand <laughs> properly. You are so, you are a robot. <laughs> See you in three years when Ben repeats the joke again. <laughs> yeah, three <laughs> years, you. start the clock now. Okay, I'm taking out my tea bag. And now I'm gonna add some oat milk. What was that from? Is it Blue, Blue Valentine? I think it's from Blue Valentine, right? where he told that joke. What are you putting in there? Cow milk? Oat milk. Oat milk. It's the oat, oatly milk I put. There you go. This one, Earth's own or whatever. I hear they, they get the oats from the earth. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, cheers everybody. You're more confused about the association of Ryan Gosling and Cornwall. Ryan Gosling is from Cornwall. <laughs> He's Canadian. He's Cornwallian. <laughs> That's not a thing, Cornwallian? Yeah, they uh, seceded. <laughs> Cornwall, it's uh, own nation now. <laughs> Declared independence. Like Gilead? Mm hmm Yes. <laughs> don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Okay, who wants to do a Q and A while we wait for the cheese game? <laughs> you don't want to make tea <laughs> another five times. Q and A, go ahead, ask me a question, chatter. If you're lucky, I'll read it, and if you're extra lucky, I'll answer it. <laughs> Good, I got him. Too much <laughs> Handmaid's Tale going on. How are you liking the no, new season? No, I love of, it. I how love are you it. liking the new season? It's the best. It's the best. I kind of. It felt like it was just doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, this it is doesn't a feel like that anymore. Where they get to ask. Questions. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> question. No, how, this can we season's see the cats? better. Things are changing in this season. It's really interesting. I love kind of watching them explore the politics of an evolved, modernized Gilead, which, like we all know, is like still fucked up. But like, I think it's interesting because it mirrors what happens in the real world, which I find is so fascinating. Another Anyways. question: What were your nightmares about? Um. So like if I was in the dark in this house and I tried to turn on a light and it wouldn't work and then I walk around the corner and there's BAM. Wait, what did you- That's my nightmares. You had nightmares about me? <laughs> Don't lie to them, what <laughs> About Phasmophobia, which is a scary game we were playing where you ghost hunt. Were you actually just like reliving the game? Like you were in the game? No, it, no. I have nightmares like remembering exactly what happened on stream. Like of like those you're sections. you're just replaying it in yeah, your head? Yeah, just re that's what I do a lot of. It's just things happen and then I experience them again as a dream or a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question from Mark, what do you think about Ben Balding? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you fucking ask that, Mark? What do you think, Christine? <laughs> Should I shave my head yet? Let's ask Mark. Mark, what do you think, since you're bringing it up? Mark, what do you think about Ben Balding? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, answer the question. <laughs> Answer the question or be banned forever. <laughs> Fucking Mark. Ah, uh, you know, he's, that's a typical Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever met someone named Mark that you actually liked? Actually, no. <laughs> no, no, the one Mark. I can think of one, but it's spelt with a C. A C, okay, you're right. So if Mark has a C, he's usually a really nice guy. Yeah, but Mark with but a K. But Mark with a K, you're right. Yeah. There was someone I knew who was a complete asshole. Yeah, I heard he's racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> except Mark Rober, he's fine. That's an exception. There's always an exception to the rule. But otherwise, you know, Mark's with a K. Mark Anthony has a C. Questionable. Mark Zuckerberg, point made. Exactly. Markiplier. Okay, but that's like one word, so it doesn't count. Then would you ever get a toupee? <laughs> it's like the Ben Bald Hour. <laughs> Why, who gets a toupee? Only Donald Trump. People just get hair trim. Most people who are balding now, who have money and are in like Hollywood, they'll just get those fancy hair transplants. Yeah, no one knows. Hmm. 
You can kind of tell. But the general public doesn't know. It's not mm -hmm. something they, they announce. Koala asks, are you going to be playing more scary games? Well, October's over. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Would you ever give, thank you, Chatter, Hippie Mermaid, would you ever give a French braiding tutorial? Um, I could, <laughs> but I feel like only you and maybe a few others would show up. <laughs> uh, yeah. I only know how to French braid from one direction, like on my head. I don't know how to French braid on other people, unless it's like this direction. This probably makes no sense to anyone who doesn't <laughs> braid their hair. But like on my head, I can only do an under braid. And on other people's head, I can only do an over French braid. I don't I know why. I have no idea what It's just like about. the direction that the strands go. I wish I could do an over French braid on myself, but like I can't. I don't know what it is. I can only go like this <laughs> on my own head. You know what I mean? Some, some people are like, I understand exactly what you mean. Is it a Dutch? Is Dutch where you go under and French where you go on top? You're the same? Thank you, Megan. Like, what is wrong with us? You don't know how to braid your hair? Well, that's something you can learn though, but just try, how, how did you try learn? and learn both ways. How did I learn? I'm yeah. at camp. So did someone teach you though? So, <clears throat> we used to braid our hair at camp when we went on canoe trips so that you wouldn't have to like shower. Well, cause you can't shower on a canoe trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was kind of a strategy for that. Um, or if you knew you weren't able to shower for a while, it was either two French braids or multiple braids, whatever you know you had time to do. So that's how I learned watching other people do it on me. And then you had to return the favor. So you had to figure out how to like help them braid their hair, just like girls in my um, cabin kind of thing. So I guess I was like six or seven when I would have learned. Hmm. Okay. Is that interesting to you? It's like, no. It's, I just, it never occurs to, occurs to people, I think. Yeah, I think when you learn it when you're young, much like language, it's just easier. You just know, kind of like riding a bike. But if you do, if you never learn it and you're like 20 and you're like, how do I learn how to French braid? It probably feels a little weird. But I can just kind of go like this and like not even look. Except I can't do an over braid. I can only do an under braid, so. What's on my nails? Um, the same thing that has been on my nails for way too long. And uh, a hollow glitter you may recognize that may or may not be coming back shortly. <laughs> and um, just, you know, nothing, other, other things. <laughs> Brownies are already smelling. Brownie check. Yeah, it won't reach, right? So it's been 12 minutes. It doesn't, it still looks really wet though. It's been 20 minutes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it said 12 left. <laughs> Look at all the Menchies in the chat. Where's Menchie? Speaking of Menchie. Where she went? Menchie, baby. Where'd she go? I don't know, Madison. What does it look like? Have you released more than one green? So people what, know this? what it is. Yeah. This? Oh, oh yeah. This is everything is pine. I don't need to. You want some tea? Nope. No tea? Okay. Mm, sausage fingers. She's busy fighting crime in the moonlight. I do think that's what she's doing. I kind of want to know where she is. Do you want to find her? Is yeah. she on your stream desk? Let me check the bed. She's not in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite spoopy movie. So child friendly horror movie. You want a child friendly horror movie? Does that even exist? Is that not like an oxymoron? Horror is typically not child friendly. What? <laughs> what? Um, I don't have good taste in movies, if I'm being really honest. And I never really watch like the animated stuff. Like I've never seen Coraline. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's okay, that one I do like. That's like clay animation or something. It's pretty old, it's from like 20 years ago, something like that. Um, I grew up watching Nightmare Before Christmas and it, it's kind of terrifying, even as a child to watch it, but I do think they intended it to be okay for kids, but it's kind of fucked up. I love that though. Yes, Nightmare Before Christmas is a Tim Burton movie. The 
the It miniseries with Tim Curry is child friendly. Okay. I don't know how much you parents out there should trust random chatters because I cannot trust them for baking. So I recommend always Googling during your research before uh, terrifying your child. <laughs> Wizard of Oz is your favorite horror movie? Yeah, it is pretty scary. Return to Oz is scary. Return to Oz? What's that? Have you never seen that? I don't know. What is it? It's, the it's, sequel? It's like a sequel to The Wizard of Oz. It's How really it creepy scary? though. Beware the Wheelers. The Wheelers? That's the same name as a family in The Handmaid's Tale in the recent season. It's all connected. And they're scary. <laughs> Maybe they named them that on purpose. Return to Oz is like a super creep, because I feel like a lot of people stumbled upon it like, oh, I love The Wizard of Oz. Let me rent this movie. Oh, And it's got shit. a bit of a darker, it's it's darker than, uh, than the well, Wizard of Oz movie up. everyone thinks about. They got him. That was maybe the point, is to lure people in who thought it was harmless, just like Dorothy tapping her shoes and shit. Well, because wasn't, The Wizard of Oz was like a series, there was a series of books, right? But everyone just thinks of that one movie with, uh, fuck, I always forget her name, the Dorothy, uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, she had a really sad life. Judy Dench? No. No. <laughs> That's Judy Garland. Judy Garland, sorry. Yeah. Close enough. I said Judy. Judy Dench? Oh, sorry. Nightmare Before Christmas was not made by Tim Burton. It was only produced by Tim Burton, or some other correction. Correction! Really? Look, look it up on Wikipedia. I do not know. <laughs> oh, I always thought of Return to Oz as a Tim Burton movie. No, Nightmare Before Christmas. Sorry, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I, yes. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Judge Judy? <laughs> yeah. Judge, Judge Judy. Judge Judy. What kind of tea are you drinking? Um, Melbourne Brekkie. Yeah. <laughs> when I went to Australia, I brought back this specific type of black tea that you really like. Eh? Yeah, all the way from Australia. So now I have to send him there to go get some tea. Why don't you come with me? It's pretty far. I know. I've been. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. No, I order it online. Like everything else. One day we will go to Australia. Today is not that day. Yeah. Oh, Nightmare for Christmas based on a poem by Tim Burton. Thank you, Stephanie. Have you ever seen The Halloween Tree? It's a cartoon movie based on a Ray Bradbury book. It's really good. Oh, Ray Bradbury, oh, yeah. that's Fahrenheit 451. Probably read that in school at some point. Oh, interesting. Um, I have not. Is it for? Never heard of it. Is it like scary? Should I be scared? As scared as Rima London. Aussie gang? How many Australians in the chat? We had Pavlova the other day. We went out for dinner. Have you ever seen that? Are we allowed to talk about this? We went for dinner with some YouTube people. Oh, yeah. We had uh, Pavlova for dessert. You have to explain what that is, because most people don't know what that is. Uh, how do you explain Pavlova? Australians, explain Pavlova. When I heard the name Pavlova, I was like, oh, like Pavlov's dogs yes. with a salivation. So it's made of, uh, it's a dessert made with like dog meat. <laughs> and a sprinkle of dog saliva for when the bell goes off, they salivate. Uh, people are arguing. I think technically Pavlova is from New Zealand, whatever. People think of it as, people think of Australia and New Zealand basically, basically is the same uh -oh. cultural uh -oh. thing. Uh-oh, drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing some classical conditioning with uh, Pavlova making making Canadians and Americans salivate for Pavlova. <laughs> how do you make it? Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a meringue. So I am, um, yeah, I don't really know how to make it, but I can tell you what I ate that was labeled as Pavlova. It seemed like meringue and um, Meringue bottom peaches? whipped cream top. Was there peaches in it? There was like a fruit in it. Ours was a pumpkin one, which is really unusual. But, but there was yeah. also like a peach or something. No. Oh. Like there was like a softer fruit. Yeah, that one was a little different, a little fancy. Yeah, it was like a giant it's meringue and then you like crack it and then the meringue falls everywhere and it looks so messy. Like it no longer looks like a fancy It's dessert. often made with strawberry, yes, Crystal. That's more normal. Okay, it wasn't strawberry. It was more like a pear or a peach kind of color and it had the fruit like chopped up inside. Um, I like meringue. Meringue's good. 
Spill some tea, Ben? Spill some tea. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, why did I think of that? <laughs> no. Have you no. heard have you heard Shane Dawson's releasing a new oh video with ben. Jeffree Star? Because that's what the world needs right now. I'm sorry, my eyes are really itchy. <laughs> I did not see and I will not see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal the tea. <laughs> Do not steal my tea. <clears throat> this smells pretty done. It's kind of good that no one has heard. What about The Last of Us 3? What? Are there leaks? Are there rumors? They're coming out with a multiplayer Last of Us game. Will you play with me? Oh, do you, do you want to die? Do you think, could Christine play The Last of Us on the easiest difficulty? Do you think that could work? Because I think that could be a series where, like, I sit down with you and see if you could beat that game. <laughs> yeah. What is this? A see if she can beat a challenge. That's the yeah. real uh, There's other yeah. channels that exist just for this purpose, like, my inexperienced girlfriend tries to beat video games. People have made their whole channels around this. Is that what you want to do? Is that the next pivot in your career, Ben? <laughs> pivot, oh yeah. You going to use me for my fabulous, I mean, anti-fabulous game skills. Yep. My terrible game skills. Sadly, no, it's too hard. Maybe I want to see it be. I mean, I did beat Stray. <laughs> As an okay gamer who can't play The Last of Us, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I could do it. I don't think Christine will enjoy it, said Mikal. So they don't think I'll enjoy it. I think you'd like the story though. Maybe we'll just watch the HBO show together. I could just watch you play and just comment along. You just sit down. With Imagine player. Ben's playing it, and I'm just there with like a little box in the corner, and I'm like, Ben, kill him! <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Commenting, like, why is she making that decision? <laughs> What's next? A family channel, says Ro? Yeah, this is already a family channel. Is it? A We're a family. family. The cats are our children. I don't know where my children are, but. There's By the somewhere. way, I wasn't really referring to girlfriend reviews because I think that's an amazing channel. I'm more referring to there's a bunch of channels of a guy just like sitting there while his girlfriend plays video games badly. Michelle said, I would actually love to see Simply beat it to give me more confidence on video games. Okay, but that You've could, gotten much that better. That could be a double-edged sword because if the point is to give you confidence and then I just can't do it, then it'll be like even worse than if I'd never tried. Backseat Gamer Series? That's kind of funny. You've gotten so much better at video games. Like if we went back and tried to play It Takes Two again or Goose Game again, I'm confident you would be much better. We should do that as a test, like a pre and post. So we have evidence of the pre, yeah. now we'll do a post. I know a lot of people bring up the fact that we never beat It Takes Two. Yeah, we only played like two game. episodes. That's a really good co-op game. Okay, well maybe we could go back to it. Maybe for like Christmas. We'll do It Takes Two. Or is there a Christmas game? Like a holiday game we should play? I'm just saying, around that time, I think it would be fun to do. Okay, your Christmas gift, okay? We'll play It Takes Two. Again. Christmas morning, It Takes Two. <laughs> <laughs> Only two. People want more phasmophobia, but it's just too scary for you. You want to torture me. There's a little see-through, eh? What? About the back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little scandalous. <laughs> Hello. That's how I breathe. <laughs> it's my breathing gills. These are my gills, chat. All right, you wanna check rims? I am a fish. I need a skewer. Okay, you need a skewer, and can I get the macro cam in there, or you wanna wait a bit? I think I'm just taking it out. No, let the, hold on. I'm taking it out. No, don't take it out I can't yet. wait. No, Ben. Hold it's on. done. Hold on. It's done. Hold up. Don't show. Oh, fuck. 
some of my sweatpants. <laughs> Looks pretty done. It did puff up. Did you use this already? No, nope, that's clean. So you All right. Can go ahead. Ooh, a little wet still. A little wet. Doesn't quite come out clean. I'm gonna put it back for like five minutes. You're gonna put it back? Yep. Okay. It still looks like cheese. <laughs> It looks like cheese, guys. <laughs> All right, five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. One more Q&A. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna have some hummus. What, why are you gonna have hummus? <clears throat> Where did Manchi go? She's in the pumpkin. She's in the pumpkin? Yeah. You should bring her down in the pumpkin. No. Oh. I can show you a picture of her in the pumpkin. Okay, show us a picture. I forgot to tell you. I can't I found believe her. you didn't tell us. I took a picture and then I forgot. Oh! She's in the pumpkin! <laughs> sailor baby in the pumpkin. In her Sailor Moon costume. I love her so much. Okay. <clears throat> Halloween costumes. Um, well, I was wearing a unicorn costume, but it's really hot and it was also shedding into our brownies, so I took it off. Would you rather only wear crumbs forever or wear hollow, but always as a water marble? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second there. Do I have to do the water marble? So that would mean I would have to water marble like once a week. Well, it's too tough for you? But, well, no, because I figured out how to do it. Yeah. I think I would choose that rather than only wear crumbs. Yeah, for sure. I would put put myself through the effort. And also, over time, I would get better at water marbling. So it wouldn't be so challenging. Yeah, I would definitely just wear water marble hollow over crumbs only, for sure. Ben's really enjoying his hummus. Is this the Hamasi? Okay, what, what's your move? What's the Hamasi? If you had to invent a dance move, what's the Hamasi? Like the scoop or something? No, that was taken. <laughs> That's taken. <laughs> That's taken by another streamer, much bigger than you. So you, you gotta make it up. You gotta make your I own think move. He's, he's a small guy in real life. Have you met him? I heard he's Have tiny, little, like this tall. Shorter than me? Yep. Wow, I, I didn't believe that. He's like five foot one. Okay, that is shorter than me. I'm five four. Okay, you gotta make up your own dance so that it can go viral. What's the Hamasi? I just did it. You just did like eight dance moves. It's all of those things in order. Have you ever seen uh, the OA on Netflix? I'm trying to help figure out how You know with Britt yeah. Marling, the OA? Yeah. You know how they dance to get into the other dimension? Oh. That's how I feel when I eat the hummus. <laughs> so are you in the hummusy dimension? Wow, guys. All right, to get into the hummusy ah. dimension. <laughs> <laughs> wow, people who haven't seen that show think you're fucking, wow. <laughs> Everyone who wants the OA to come back for a third season, say yeah. Christina's one of those people I'm always surprised is short. You have tall person energy. 
is that? What's tall person energy? Aren't tall people like really? They look down on people. <laughs> what does that mean? I look down on people? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm always a shorty. 5'4. That's not even that short. I do not want how messy. I thought Which I had short really person. Aren't short people more likely to be introverts? I think studies show that short people are less likely to be respected in certain industries. Great. <laughs> you best respect me or I will ban you or Ben will ban you. 5-4 is average? Yeah. I, exactly. I thought I'd look this up once and it was like 5-3 and a half is like the average height of the American woman or something because that's like the only uh, available data is like American women, not American women. woman. <laughs> Shut up. She is 5-4. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but I remember. <laughs> Shut up. that song? <laughs> wow, I can't believe that song existed now that I think about it. Was it Lenny Kravitz? <laughs> right? Yeah. That's, that is a weird song when you think about it. Anyways, my point was I looked up what is the average height of a woman and got American results and it was five, three and a half. And I was like, I'm taller than the average woman? Crazy. Anyways. I don't know where if that date is correct. It could be wrong. Who knows? <laughs> ben, Ben, you okay? <laughs> All right, let's check on the brownies. Brownie time. Brownie squad. That's too dark. I'll do it. No, I got it. Yeah, it's good. I got it. All right. Mmm. Okay, it actually smells really good. Does it smell like pumpkin? It smells more like brownies than pumpkin. Does it smell like cheese? Mmm, look at that cheddar cheese. Cheddar mozzarella blend. I don't know mm, about this single pattern. Single slices! Not sure I see the... singles. We need a toothpick trick. Cabo cheese. Cabo? Sharp, <laughs> sharp cheddar. Don't! Well, I need to test it. Stab it! <laughs> it's still wet. Still kind of wet. Mmm. Look at those nachos. It must be done though, right? Nacho average brownies. It looks so done like it's pulling away from the corners. Dijon mustard. Okay, all right. It kind of looks like, like a taco, yeah. Like it's the cheese on the taco, or like the beans. <laughs> yeah, we gotta let it rest. Let it rest? Oh, okay, time to, time to take a nap. <laughs> Wet just means it's fudgy. Yeah, I guess it's not necessarily. Fudgy's good, right? It'll continue to cook. Now it needs to cool down. Maybe I'll get the... the get the rack? rack. You could just put it on top of the rack. Okay. Let it sit. Wait a minute. Take what a is seat. the recipe? Say? So much heat. <laughs> it's my short little song. Let it sit. Good one. Wait a minute. So much heat. Take a seat. <laughs> Rock City, bitch. <laughs> Rock, Rock City. What are you talking? I don't know. I don't even want to. Okay. <laughs> so much. <it's, laughs> Does smell good. It smells really good. Can you smell that? I feel like the pattern could have been a little more. I you know. did, but the brownie was too thicky thick. So like, it's like when the nail polish is too dried. I wish that the brownie was wetter or. Water. more sooner placed so we could have done them all together and got a proper swirl really only the two top coats the two shades we put on top were more blendable i also see bits of cream cheese <laughs> whatever it's so fine. the recipe says the cheesecake layer will initially be runny you need to bake the brownies until the cheesecake is set the cheesecake is set it's definitely it doesn't look runny what cheesecake this is a brownie no but the orange and white is the cheesecake portion there's so little of that, right? Like that was basically just decoration. Uh, no, I mean, there's a, some of it. It's all over there. <laughs> <laughs> there's our cheesecake's over there. Yeah, you didn't use a ton of it. No, you? well you told me to stop. That looks so like much. a good slice. 
Should we put a hollow taco on it and it'll make it better? Nope. Flake, flaky hollow taco. I vote. Maybe gold flake taco would look okay. Gold flake taco? That would actually look nice on this. What if you had like uh, a reflective taco? What if you had like a silver flake, not holographic, just silver flake to put on it? That would look nice, but I feel like that's less for Halloween season and more like hollow day season. Yeah, like a nice silver There's flake. Think about. Like a silver flake taco. Yeah. I think that'd be really nice. Yeah, maybe when we do Christmas desserts or something, Christmas Bake Logical, we could... Just have like a little salt shaker full of, uh, of silver, silver flake flakes. taco. Yeah, that could look really good. What do you guys think? Hmm. <laughs> any, any other? <laughs> choco taco? A choco so, taco. So choco taco. Hollow Choco? You mean Choco Hollow? You mean hollow. Choco Hollow? I think that yeah, that's clearly what they meant. Choco I, Hollow. I wanted it to be called Hollow Choco. Is it Choco Hollow? It's Choco Hollow. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was named like a year ago, Ben. So we can't change it now. Now I'm upset. <laughs> um. Yeah, Choco Hollow is a good one, but I wouldn't sprinkle that on this. I would probably make the entire batter out of Choco Hollow. I would. I would eat it. You, no, well, I mean, don't eat nail polish, just to be clear, disclaimer. But if you were making, <laughs> in a world that doesn't exist, uh, of a, a bake logical or baking with Choco Hollow, then I would suggest doing so, you know, waiting about a, a week to make it and then enjoy it. It'll be ready then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Isn't silver flaky hollow just hollow? Nope. Disney Express. There are many different types of tacos. So many types of tacos. It's taco time. So many different tacos. They are all a little different. I need them all. Holidays. Happy Halloween holidays. holidays. start uh, Tuesday, right? Wednesday? When do the holiday days start in Hol the Simply Neological universe? <sighs> Every day is a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> holidays start um, right after Halloween is over. <laughs> which basically, is like right, basically yeah. next week, yeah. I can't wait. I can't not wait for the holidays to begin. How long do we have to wait? What does the recipe say? Eat the cake? We will, Astrid. Calm it says, down. Stop it says screaming. cool completely. Astrid, stop screaming. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the hummusy. Something with a snap, because it's very like old man y. What's old man about hummus? No, the snap. Doing yeah. like this is so like. So why would that be the dance for hummus? Because it's a uh, you got to put you in the dance move. So I feel like this is like very you. You're on the run. How okay? When you're listening to a song and you want to clap, how do you clap? <laughs> how would you clap along to this song? <laughs> oh no. You just want to make fun of me. No for no. My inept no, it says skills. a lot about. There's two ways people usually clap along to music. She did it the right way. Okay. How well, would... A lot of white people... What? <laughs> ...clap along to one and three instead of two and four. How does that have anything to do with race? Two. White people are like, one, three, <laughs> one, three. Why? But if you if you feel it, you're like, uh, uh, uh. Can you please? Uh, I need an explanation. Uh, uh, why, why would you say that? Who educated you with that information? It's true. Anyone who studies music knows. <laughs> Okay, is ben, ben... Look, they all agree with me. All okay. the band nerds know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, but was this like proven, like with empirical evidence? They actually did a study yeah. and had like white people clap along? Go to a concert <laughs> and you'll see this happen in real time. 
my god. Man. I'm just like shocked that people say that. That's crazy. Okay, so is the goal to not clap like a white person? Is that what, that's what we're to interpret, correct? You clap on two and four. Same way a drummer hits the snare on two and four. Same way uh, in jazz music, the hi-hats clapping on two and four. How do you explain? Only like, oh, polka music, like one and three and a one and a three. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Actually, now I know what you mean. Like, it's like syn folk, folk. Syncopation makes music cool, basically, is the answer. That's a good Syncopation means word. like it's kind of like the offbeat. I like that. So name. instead of landing on the one, it's the sort of accent being off of the one and the three is what kind of makes it cool. So white people have no soul, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> I like syncopation. That's a good shade name. What Syncopate. color? What color is it? I don't know. Like, I don't know yet. But I'm gonna write it down. Syncopation, the Ben's musical collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Step two and four. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. Step one and three. You have to buy me a drum kit if we ever release that, though. Okay, that that'll be your consideration. Now I just need somewhere to put it. Now I'm gonna just be so self-conscious every time I clap. No. Nah. I'm never gonna clap it, it again. It came naturally to you, so you don't have to worry about it. It's because I did dance, but I still don't Maybe. know music. Like, uh, dance has a count of eight. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, like when you do like these things. Oh, is that how you think of it? Yeah. The eight, okay. Yeah, I don't know where the eight. Well, most music's like in four, right? So that's times two, it's Yeah. eight, yeah. Yeah, so you're just doubling it. That makes sense. Like baking, when you double the recipe. Exactly. Okay. To syncopate means to faint. Is there another uh, word? Someone's got to verify that. I don't know. <laughs> you also count in eights? Yeah, I don't go to ten ever. I just count to eight and then start over. How would you count, like, in this song, for example? Well, this is a weird song. Yeah, it's, it is weird when it's a slow song. I'm mostly used to, like hip hop or pop songs from dance I class. wonder if you're counting an eight, but you're really just counting like the sort of two measures. I don't one, know what you just two, said. Three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, I think that's six, all you're seven, doing. eight. Yeah. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So do you see how lame it is when you go, if it's one, two, three, Five, oh. seven, one, three, five, uh, seven, sure. no soul. Right? Yeah, no it's soul. like it's like every other, it's like you're the odd one out kind but of. But if you're like one, two, two, two three, four, six, eight, two, four, six, so eight, two, four, six. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, okay. Um ban, what what did you him. what did you just join? This is Ben's dance class. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, thank you for attending the dance break. I'm running an ad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to you after this uh, commercial message from our sponsor, which is dependent on your viewer history. This is kind of sinking. Doesn't it seem like it's kind of sinking? As opposed to raising? <laughs> yes. As opposed to rising. I don't know. Oh yeah. Can it swim? The dark night rises. It seems fine, it's fine. Mm, you were merely born in the darkness, Mr. Wayne. The next minute is just for people, rich people, who pay for a YouTube premium, <laughs> yes. It's getting more expensive. Yeah, what's up with that? They didn't even tell us that. Also, don't we notice that you make less money on videos when people are watching on premium compared to ads? Um, unofficially, allegedly, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it depends, there's a lot of because it depends it, how it, much content people on premium are watching. It's not as clear cut as like, yes, this is always the case. It does depend, um, but uh, it's hypothetically, there are some scenarios potentially. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just don't say anything at all then. <laughs> Where, yeah. yeah. But I wonder if that means if YouTube premium is getting more expensive, will that actually make customers less likely to continue subscribing? 
Like, I wonder if they're gonna just be less YouTube Premium users or people aren't even gonna notice or care and they'll still pay for YouTube Premium and then it'll still have the same effects on uh, YouTubers and they will not see an increase from that increase because that increase was ultimately for service delivery at the YouTube platform level, I think. All right, you wanna cut it? I don't wanna wait. How hot is it? It's definitely not cool. I don't mind the ads on YouTube. Like they're pretty short compared to other platforms where they're incredibly long and you can't skip them. <laughs> I don't mind ads on YouTube at all. Yeah, I watch, um, like I have YouTube Premium on one of my channels because YouTube gave it to me for free. Thank you, Susan. But on my other ones where I log in on purpose because I like to see what ads are playing, I like to know what kind of ads people are getting or just what's out there. The clapping thing is explained in the Joshua Safraka video, the 5-4 trick. What? Thank you, Jessica. Do you know what that is? The promote five out of, we don't know anything about? Five out of four trick? It's about clapping. Okay, I don't know. There was a super chat. <laughs> Thank yeah, you for Just because someone super chats doesn't mean you read it. What's wrong with that comment? <laughs> I don't know if we're endorsing that video. That person could be wrong. Well, I never know what you're going to say, but here you are on my channel. And you, okay? <laughs> You okay, wanna wait, cut it? Wait, no, you gotta show them. Which side? People are on that side. Well, okay. Looks like you're cutting into me. Ooh. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> it's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's a knife, watch out. That's a mm, big, big row. Cut that brownie. Okay, it looks better now than it did before. Maybe we get that piece out. It still looks really moist. Give me a little plate. Show them, give them that satisfying shot. Show, no, show them the side. Well, it's the top that looks good. Wow, guys, look. Doesn't that look yummy? Do you want some? This piece actually looks good. Like you can see yeah, the water that's marble. Why I cut there. <laughs> the color got really thrown off there, but. Reset the color. There we go. It's still too hot. It's still too hot? Well, you could eat it, but it just, it will be better once it's sort of actually set, you know? Okay. Mm, look at that cheesy brownie. I thought you said don't eat it because it's hot. Remember last time where I burned my mouth and it hurt for like two days? Yeah, don't do that again. After I drank the tea. This is like falling apart really easily. Is that normal? <laughs> kind of weird. It's not that hot? Nope. So what do you think? It's okay. Ben, why don't you like it? It's fine. I'm just not a big brownie person. What about the cheesecake layer? Just scrape that off. Cheesecake makes it more interesting. Yeah. But I prefer a good brownie with like a fudge layer on top, I think. Like that piece looks better because it has more um, cheesecake you in it. Have your own? I know, but I'm saying that, that <laughs> piece looks better. Okay, shall I try? Go for it. Tell me what you think. Don't let me bias you. It's fine. It's good. Yeah. So I think you probably want to let this sit more so it gets like thicker, kind of fudgier. Right now it does feel a bit fluffy it's for pretty, a brownie. It's pretty cakey. Yeah, it's more cakey, yeah. Yeah, I like a denser, a denser brownie. But mm, the spots where there's cheesecake and pumpkin on top totally that's amazing. I, I wish we put more of that in there. Maybe. 
Yeah. It's more like yeah. a chocolate cake than it, a brownie. It does though, look eh? cakey. It does, it is cakey, but it's a very like moist cake. Yeah, brownies are better later, so it's hard yeah. to judge now. So we'll, mean, we'll have to see after it cools. The real reason we made this was just to do the water marble on top. <laughs> but it is good. It looks cool. Mm -mm. All right, good stream, mm -mm. bye. Give us the recipe, it's in the description. Is it overcooked? Ben, would you consider this overcooked? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's overcooked. I would, if I would do this again, which I'm not, <laughs> I would probably add more of the, um, the cheesecake layers, even if it meant that like it would conflict with the brownie. I'd probably try and figure out a way to make the brownie a little runnier. Maybe that just means less flour. So that when you add the, the white and the, here, can you see? So that when you add the cheese layers, <laughs> it will run in a little bit cleaner. <clears throat> and then you end up with more of the, the pumpkin cheesecake, which just tastes better, in my opinion. I think like the pumpkin and the cheesecake is what makes this more interesting. Whereas like the brownie is just kind of like chocolate cake. Thank you, Niles. You can bake leftovers of batter for just cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah, good point, we could have done that. We can still do that, unless it's bad. I don't know how long it lasts. So I consider this a success. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, hope you have a fantastic Saturday, Halloween weekend. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for saying <laughs> good job. You want to see the cats? Okay, we'll show you the cats and then we'll go. Um, can you grab the menti and the pump? Okay. And I'll find a Xyler. Monkey boys right here. Tyler, chat is waiting for their package. What takes you so long? The delivery status did not update. <laughs> and Menchie's coming down. Thank you, Josie. Well, yeah, so on Monday, I'm, no, Monday. On Monday, Ben and I will be doing pumpkin carving on his stream on Bentendo, right here in this kitchen. So that's this Monday on actual Halloween. On Wednesday, I'll be playing a new game, um, uh, Misfortune on my channel, this this channel. And on the Sunday, we'll be doing the Menchie Gang members only chat and stream. <laughs> hey, Menchie, are you still Sailor Menchie? We got a yeah, UPS driver. Happy Halloween from the whole family. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Hey, buddy. Why are they so tolerant of our shit? She likes what she smells. See, we let our kids have fun for Halloween. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Siler kind of looks like the cheesecake. Yeah, he's the same colors with the hat as the brownie. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Shout out to the mods. Thank you, mods. Thank you, members. Um, we'll see you all on Monday on Bentendo, right? For pumpkin carving. Oh, little kissies. <laughs> Like, what, what costume are you wearing in there? Okay, I gotta put him down to... There you go. <clears throat> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Safe, happy Halloween, and all those good things. And, uh, you know, take care. Bye! <laughs> Benchy!